Hi everybody, it's Britt here from Brit Soul, and in this video I'm back talking about the North Node again. And in this video I want to talk about the North Node in Pisces and what it means to have your North Node in Pisces. So what is the North Node? The North Node is where your soul is pulling you towards in this lifetime. It's those qualities that you need to develop on a soul level, or not on a soul level, but you need to bring down from your soul level to your personality level in this lifetime in order to grow and evolve spiritually. So it's the kind of stuff that really feeds you. It's what you really need to be doing. But it's always opposite the south node, and the south node is the point of comfort. It's what feels natural and familiar, but eventually stagnant. So with the North Node in Pisces, we're working on coming out of the South Node in Virgo. And I don't believe that we need to fully abandon the South Node and go like all out towards the North Node because that doesn't really work either. It's about finding a delicate balance of the two energies. So whenever you see the nodes in someone's chart, that opposition is a major theme in their whole life. And it's about finding the proper balance of energies, not being too reliant on one side or the other side. It's really about balancing both. That's what I find. And we also need to utilize the natural gifts and talents that we have from our south node in order to fulfill the north node. So anyways, with the south node in Virgo here, we have an overdeveloped sense of the mind and the mental processes and the analytical ability and the critical thinking faculty and we are just on overload with our brains most of the time and this can be a very judging placement to have the nodes and I notice myself Honestly, I'm just going to be totally honest, I'm feeling a little bit nervous around these people sometimes because you can feel judged. And it's not even that these people are purposely meaning to judge you. Like, like, like they don't mean to be so judging, but it's just like such a natural part of them is to find fault with things and find what needs fixing and also to kind of mistrust people or like there can be a lot of fear and hang-ups and this is definitely one of the more difficult most difficult node positions um in my opinion it's the taurus scorpio axis which i've done both of those videos and now this is my final one i've done the other end of this stick but the virgo pisces axis as well um is like super difficult especially this one because um the Virgo South node really would like to stay in what is known, what can be proved scientifically, what can be put into little boxed containers in their mind and make logical sense and be explained to people and be understood as facts. These people are really big on this is fact, this is the fact of life, this is my life's facts, this is what is true. I'm supposed to be miserable because of these facts or like like <laughs> stuff like that. So and it's these facts that make them feel safe. And it's because of in past lives, if you believe in past lives or in their past in this life or in their early life, they relied on their intelligence. They're very intelligent, these people, and they're very naturally good with with um, like usually they're yeah like reading or science or like understanding concepts like intelligent intelligent thinking rational thinking they're they're really good at that and they're really good at organization and putting things together in their mind and they spend a lot of time there putting things together in their mind so that they can feel safe like they need to devise a plan for things and they don't want to do anything that's not planned and they they like to have everything structured in their mind however they can go to the opposite end too where they end up being totally disorganized because they completely abandon their south node and go in favor of the north node and then they can become drug addicts or alcoholics or like very devout spiritual people with a spiritual practice that like maybe like go become a monk or something like they they can 
switch back and forth. That's what happens sometimes with the nodes. When we react too strongly from one end, we go all out on the other end. And that's not really good either. We're trying to find a balance, right? So, um, anyways, yeah, I'm... Yeah, I do sometimes feel a little bit nervous around these people, and it might not even be that they're particularly judging me. It, it's just that there is a nervous energy here, and it's not like these people are like too nervous to do life and like they want to go like live in a cave away from everyone. That could be the case sometimes, but there's just a general nervous energy, and the reason why the energy is so nervous is because of like them needing to put things into little fact boxes in their brain like to make sense of things to make them feel safe and they're they're always doing this they're always like how does this fit into the whole picture like you know what's really going on here i'm trying to figure out the truth and and they're they're constantly seeking but where they really need to be going is towards their north node in pisces which is actually going to let go of all that fact structuring in their brain and they're going to realize that some things cannot be explained through logical concepts or rational concepts or even in words. These people are learning to listen to the voice of their heart and their soul. And if they're leaning more towards the south node, side of it they're gonna watch this video and think what the fuck are you talking about like i need everything proven scientifically i need facts or it's not even like some of them might not be so into science some of them definitely are but some of them might just be like this is what i've known from an early age and i'm going to keep knowing this and i'm not going to have a different perspective in my whole life because this is what i know already and this is what feels safe but um they're really learning to have faith Faith in the unknown. And to follow something because they have a feeling that they should, rather than having it need to make sense in their minds. And these people ultimately become the spiritual masters if they can follow their North Node's calling and get out of the trap of needing everything to make sense all the time. And um, then they can find things make sense in a, in a much deeper level. And they don't need to be constantly analyzing things anymore because they have found truth. So actually, they come to an even like greater understanding. And they can become some of the most wisest people around. And what they're really learning is oneness with everything in all of life. Because there's a strong separative aspect when you're always criticizing and judging people. And people with a strong Virgo energy in their chart have a hard time with the concept of oneness. You know that we're all one from one source or whatever. But this is really what this North Node is about learning. And I mean, if that's too deep for you, it's about learning compassion. Um, I found these people... In just certain situations, of course, not all of them are going to be like this, but um, I have noticed quite a few people with this placement who are very, like, like they say um, mean things about other people, like, and they uh, they put others down, and they, they, like, laugh at people, and, like, sometimes they're really funny, actually. They make jokes about other people, but it's, their humor is, like, putting others down, and there's this kind of, like, arrogance that comes from not having that compassion or that sense of oneness and being in my astrologer mind I'm thinking you're too rooted in your self node here I mean yeah maybe you're hilarious and you can point out everybody's flaws more than they can see them but you're not following your north node path which would be to have compassion with them and understand that you are one with them you are one with who you're making fun of you're one with who you're criticizing they contain the same stuff as you and we all come from the same source and when you insult them or put them down you're insult you're insulting yourself because we're all connected and the things that irritate us about others are often showing us an unhealed part of ourselves and these people can be deeply insecure and fearful of disease and fearful of like disease like coming out and like getting them like from the world like they're like these can be germaphobes and this is when they're operating too much on that Virgo side right 
And uh, there can also be sexual problems because there's not really a naturalness in the body here because we're so in our mind. And when you can't let go of the stuff going on in your mind, it's hard to relax fully in the body and have an orgasm sometimes. I mean, not impossible, but it's, it can definitely be harder. Um, but yeah, the, the way to heal all of this, and it's not always going to be an easy thing because you have to tell your mind to shut the fuck up. You have to shut up the mind to be able to understand spiritual truths and oneness. And you have to shut up the mind and feel with the heart and listen to your soul. And that's what these nodes are about. And following inspiration. You know, like not thinking like, oh, there's no point for me to follow my dreams because other people have already done it and it's not logically possible that I'm ever going to make anything of myself doing something that I really want to do. No, you are the person that is meant to follow that dream. And the house position of your north node is going to show what your destiny is and where you are going to be this light bringer and this bringer of spiritual truth and knowledge and eventually like a deep understanding of oneness and compassion for all beings. It, it will be shown by which house your north node is in. And then um, this, the house position of the south node is going to show where you need to let go of that super critical but very intelligent mind that never shuts up and is yeah too hard on yourselves and others. So yeah, I hope that makes sense. Um, and I hope that wasn't too critical to you guys. Although you can sure dish it out to other people, but you don't like to hear it back. Who does, right? And I'm not, I'm not at all trying to be critical. I just want you to be aware of how critical you can be so that you can rise above into your north node. Um, anything else? Yeah. This is a big lifetime for you. You are, are really coming into learning about the truth of all of life and having soul connection and you are going to a wonderful place, but it can feel so scary to go there because you're really going into what's unknown or what it can't be proven. It will never be able to be proven or not in this lifetime at least. It's not, you're not gonna be able to prove what you feel. And you don't have to prove it to anyone. You just have to know it and trust and have faith in God or the universe's plan for you. And everything will work out beautifully. And then you will have peace. Um, but peace will come with a spiritual understanding of life and following your heart and soul. And suffering will come from not doing that, from sticking with what is known to you, what is logical, what can be proven. And um, yeah, anyways, thank you so much for watching this video, you guys. I love you. Comment if it was true, if it wasn't true, how you've experienced this placement. I would love to know. And I do offer chart consultations and I love to look at the astrology chart from a spiritual soul perspective and really see where your soul is going in this lifetime, what your challenges may be. And I also offer energy healing sessions, Theta Healing, which is an amazing tool to remove blocks that are in our subconscious mind, which would be great for you guys. Okay, and I do coaching as well. All my links will be below. Okay, I love you guys. Bye.